today's event was on regulating laptops in the classroom. And we had, at first, an overview of the issue, and then we followed up with a recap of last semester's event. And we went into some uh, potential solutions for the issues in the classroom that are presented. Um, a lot of the things we talked about had to do with students being distracted in the classroom, uh, professors wanting respect from their students and uh, having their students pay more attention to them, uh, as well as students having the ability to take notes and come to class and uh, participate in the manner that they wish. As the second part of our kind of focus on laptops and laptop use within the classroom, I think that this event did a great job of really capitalizing on what we talked about in the abstract in the spring semester and bring it more down to earth and actual strategies that could be actually implemented in the classroom and seeing how those have worked um, so we get a little bit more of a basis for what we instead of what we actually have opinions on but actually as effective versus not effective when a freshman walks into a large lecture which is like which is likely going to be the case their first year they're coming from a high school classroom where laptops are not used, cell phones are a definite no, and they're walking into a large lecture hall filled with students using laptops, using cell phones, and that becomes the norm. That becomes the expectation that they're going to take with them to the rest of their college classes. And I think that's definitely an important point to consider and, and think about is how a professor wants to set, set the environment on the first day from the very moment their students walk into the classroom. That goes for freshmen and for non-freshmen as well. So while freshmen are at a crucial point where they don't know what to expect, it's also important that a professor on the first day would say, set aside everything you know or everything that you've learned from classrooms in the past in terms of laptop use. This is how my classroom is going to be. One thing that was talked about a little bit and I'd like to see focused on or at least uh, taken into account when thinking about this issue for professors, especially from an undergraduate perspective, is this idea of engagement and really that added value of being in a classroom. I mean, this ties into so many other issues, including uh, our events on attendance and so on and so forth. But really, the reason that students want to come to a university, want to come to a classroom, is to have that engagement and to not only learn from the professor, but learn from other students in the classroom. And I think that providing a actual basis for engagement and for community will help eliminate a lot of distractions that laptops may provide. And especially if you incorporate those laptops, whether it be small group activities or um, just utilizing them, then I think that it really will create a more effective environment. Students learn from each other as well as from a, the professor. So when you lose engagement from students, especially in a discussion, it is detrimental both to the professor and to the students because the students are losing a lot of that discussion-based knowledge that you learn. And especially in an English classroom, which was brought up, or for example, a lot of other social science classrooms. It's hard to really learn when students are disengaged. So the idea of the, com the classroom as a community was something that I think resonated well with professors and students. So one of the topics that I wish we had gotten around to talking about more was the topic of using laptops as a positive source of interaction and engagement in the classroom. Uh, we hear a lot from professors and TAs who said that uh, laptops had a potential for distracting students and uh, they were acting as a hindrance, but uh, we know that there are possibilities for professors to use laptops to their advantage, to ask questions, to look things up online for group activities, and we didn't hear too much of that today, so uh, maybe in an event in the future we will focus more on how to use laptops in a positive manner rather than uh, managing and regulating their, their negative uses. In review of the event, I think that probably the thing that I enjoyed the most was the diversity of perspective that was seen in the audience uh, along the lines of different policies as well as the undergraduate perspective. We had professors across disciplines, everything from the dental school to the law school to different departments within the college, and then we also were able to take those differing policies that ranged from complete ban to complete leniency that were then able to ask questions about how those policies really worked and the undergraduates were able to give their perspective um, with 
the classes that they had taken in the past. And I think that really provided a great basis for talking about different policies and how they worked and how they worked specifically within class, different class sizes and different departments.